This will be a general intuitive reading, having a look at the features of this person. Let's get straight into it. Okay, this card standing out to me. Okay, you've got the Priestess of Shine coming through. You've got someone very, with a very beautiful energy um, coming through here. Uh, the dates of July 8th to August 4th, okay, could be someone under the sign of a Leo. Um, certainly with someone, uh, certainly someone with a bit of fire placement somewhere in their natal birth chart. The Priestess of Shine is extremely powerful, is extremely outgoing, um, is very has a very natural talent or creative ability. Um, I feel like this person takes um, ha has a lot of skill and is naturally quite good at things. Um, they could have a lot of um, very beautiful natural features as well here. I do sense that this person is quite outgoing. I do feel like they're quite boisterous, quite outgoing, um, quite um, even a little bit intense sometimes. Um, very passionate. Okay, very passionate. This person has excelled. Uh, I feel like they're a bit of a head turn. Could be a bit of jealousy, okay? Red can symbolize jealousy. Um, this person might be a little bit jealous of you, or you might be jealous of them, because the Priestess of Shine attracts a lot of attention, okay? It's a person that's very rare to obtain. They've got the beautiful unicorn sitting next to them, so they're almost unicorn-like. And what that means is, is that this person, the qualities they have, the personality they have, the features they have, it is very rare to find. Um, and I feel like when we come across a unicorn, you know, it's, it, we say unicorns don't exist. But when I when I feel like when this person does come in around you, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, uh, taken aback, um, just by how much this person has going for them and, and how much they excite you and draw you in. Um, Definitely a head turner, okay? They definitely attract a lot of attention everywhere they go. Um, but they've got a very warm energy. The reds, passion, love. Um, they've got a lot of love to give. So I'm sensing this is a person with a big heart. Okay, the, the king of swords. Knight of Wands, the Star, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aries. Uh, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming through with the King of Swords. This person could have a lot of air placement in their chart. Okay, especially under the sign of an Aquarius here with the Star card. The King of Swords is that this person. Um, I, I feel as though they're quite um, they're quite intelligent, okay? I, I feel like as though common interests or your paths, common goals or interests um, will make the two of you meet in a very beautiful destined way is what I get here. Um, I think the two of you will get on quite well. The King of Swords, because of their intellectual um, because they're an intellectual, I feel like this person might be um, a bit of an overthink. They might overanalyze situations, read into them very, very deeply, um, overthink certain situations here. Um, they need to find balance in their mind or in their mental state. You can see the sort of yin and yang energy, okay, with the King of Swords here. They're very observant. They've got a lot of attention to detail. In fact, I do believe that this person has been watching or stalking you in some way. There's some sort of um, the all-seeing owl, okay? It's vigilance. And it could be through online mediums, okay? So through internet, social media, um, looking up your picture online. If you have a picture that is online for whatever reason, for the company you work with or because of events you've attended, I do believe this person has been observing you from a, from a distance, has been um, thinking about you wanting to make a move, okay, um, with the King of Swords energy. Because they also have the Knight of Wands, which is that active passion and energy. This person is extremely attracted to you. Um, I feel as though the Knight of Wands, again, the Leo is coming in. This person has quite a masculine energy about them. So even if this is a female, for the gents watching, if this is a female, I do believe she could be quite driven by masculine energy. Um, you know, quite confident, could have varying interests. 
you know, just, just a masculine um, energy about them, okay? So quite powerful, quite intense uh, with the Knight of Wands. Could be a little bit intimidating here as okay? There might be times where you feel a little bit intimidated by this person. Um, I do feel they might be foreign. You might be connecting online, okay? They might be foreign or they travel fairly often. You might connect through travels. Your cultures could be quite different, okay? There might even be language barriers for some of you. This person might even know another language because of travels or because of their heritage as well because the Knight of Wands is a bit of a go-getter, okay? Um, I do sense this person is quite active. I do feel like they're quite social. They've got quite a wide social circle around them. Um... Again, there's a fierceness or an intimidating um, energy about them. They're coming up quite regal, quite majestic. So I'm sensing that they have some sort of management position or they're held in high regard. I feel like this person is sourced from the general public in their careers. Um, they're definitely a mover and a shaker. They like to get things done, okay? Um, they're very active. I see that this person has a lot of energy when they speak, the way they move. Um, I think they have a high sex drive here as well. Again, there, there, there's so many components to them. I think that's why they're coming up as the unicorn because you, you probably won't believe what you're encountering here or this person that's trying to connect with you. Um, you'll just be very pleasantly surprised by, you know, you'll be more, once they open up and they share more of themselves with you, you'll just be absolutely enjoying Very powerful. Okay, the star card. This is definitely a destined connection happening here with the star card. This person currently might be healing from a certain situation or trying to find their footing. Now, this could be internally. It could be a spiritual adventure they're on. Um, it could be they're finding fame or they're healing from a certain situation. The star card is the water bearer. It's cleansing or healing. They might be doing self-healing, self-empowerment, spring cleaning. They might be healing from a past lover. They could be under the sign of Aquarius. Um, but they're very intelligent, they're very bright, they attract a lot of attention because that's what Aquarians tend to do. They tend to have a very large group um, of friends and people, admirers around them. So uh, this is where the jealousy might come in because this person has numerous admirers around them. I can see that. They definitely uh, attract attention when they're out and about and doing things. They could work in media, okay? Could work in fitness, media, psychology, something online. They might have their own online um, venture here. They could also work with finances. Um, they might be very into someone that they follow from further afield, okay? They could even be someone famous or well-known. They could have a bit of prestige or fame around them as well or trying to break into that industry. There is a little bit of fish here as well, so I'm wondering if this person has Piscean energy coming through. This is hope, magic. This person could be interested in astrology. I think there'll be a lot of astrological compatibility between the two of you. Uh, so that's very nice to see. It could e even be initially an online connection um, that then ventures into the physical because you also have the Eight of Pentacles. They're a hard worker. Um, I feel like they're in a very delicate stage in their life right now. The spider weaves its web from silk. Silk is very fragile. Um, now, this could be transferred into the sense where this person has a fragile or sensitive nature about them, which I definitely feel like they might present themselves quite confidently um, and, and things like that. But there is a darker side to them, okay? There is a side that's more sensitive, um, that's a little bit more tame, that doesn't come out. They, they don't show this part of themselves to the world. It could be duality if there is Gemini energy to this person because there is a delicate nature about them somewhere. So there is heightened sensitivity, um, or if this is not about them, there could be a very delicate situation that they're encountering in their life right now. It could be an international move. It could be career. It could be battling some sort of mental things happening around them as well. Um, but also the Eight of Pentacles is abundance and resources and things. So I do feel like this person is quite successful in their career. Um, or they have a, quite a bit of money coming to them. They take advantage of resources. I think they like to improvise. They're quite innovative, um, which shows that when they... I feel like they're an um, opportunist, okay? They're very opportunistic. When they see a good idea coming along, they absolutely take it. They jump on it. Um, so they're a bit of an idealist here as well. But there's some... I feel like the astrological compatibility could be that they have one of your sister signs somewhere in their natal chart, which would be... Taurus, uh, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. 
So that coming up would show that they have a very humbling, grounded energy to them as much as they might be, you know, up in the air and, and, and have all these elements. I think this, this part of them will appeal to you because they're still quite practical and humble and grounded and paced. Okay, death card. This is a Scorpio coming through. Okay, a bit of mysticism around this person with the death card. It's, it's a very powerful card. It can speak of someone that has psychic ability, um, someone that has recently lost something in their life. They might have lost um, a family member, a parent, a child, a sibling, a friend. They might have recently lost a job or major transformation is occurring in their life. They could have a bit of secrets here as well, the skeleton in the closet, okay? So they might have a secretive nature to them, or there might be a part that they hide. Remember I mentioned there's, there's a sensitive side, but they don't always show that side because it's not, the, it's not the vision they want to project of themselves. And they tend to hide away this, this part of them. It's a very vulnerable side, okay? But I feel like there's a bit of mystery, and you can't wrap your head around it yet whether this person has come in around you or not. There'll be something that you can't quite put your finger on and that might be a bit of an off feeling. But look, it can be loss. The Five of Cups is also here. Okay, this can be mourning. This can be loss. This can be transgressions. This can be the past. Um, I feel like this person's past is still haunting them or something that has occurred in their past. It, they still carry it with them. Now, this could be a breakup, this could be a loss, this could be something majorly, like a major event or a traumatic event that has happened in this person's recent or distant past. Looks can be deceiving, that's all I want to say about this person, because there's a side to them that you have to get to know that will be very real and very raw, and they do have that emotional side. In fact, they've got Pisces energy coming up. Okay, to have Scorpio and Pisces together... <laughs> This really indicates there's a lot of, there's a very strong emotional side to this person. They might have had a third party situation or are leaving behind a third party situation. Scorpio is mysteries that come to the forefront. So they might have recently discovered someone else's skeletons in their closet. Um, and this is something they're mourning right now with the Five of Cups. Um, they, Piscean energy, this, these two cards here, this person has either an addiction or an addictive personality. Um, now, Pisceans are very prone to addictions because of because of their element, their, their makeup. So I don't know if this person has an addiction to drinking, has an addiction to overthinking, has an addiction to sex, but there's something that they overindulge in and that's not overly healthy for them as well. But the Two of Cups behind, this is a very beautiful union, the Two of Cups next to the Star card, very much a destined union um, between the two of you. Page of Cups could definitely be a Pisces. Um, this person is a little bit quirky, okay? Fish out of water, fish out of element. You'll meet or connect somewhere where it's very, very unlikely, um, especially when the two of you connect. I think first impressions are very strong, and there's a very strong spiritual connection between the two of you and an attraction. Um, but what I'm saying here is, is that this, is, this person is not your usual type. And it's in the most unlikely places or under the most unlikely circumstances that the two of you will actually connect. And I almost feel like they, it could be like this person is a bit scattered or they have a bit of scattered energy around them. And this can be um, translated in the sense where, you know, Pisceans are adaptable, they're mutable signs, so they are very adaptable. So I do see this person is quite highly adaptable but I just feel like there might be a bit of fickleness or duality about them, whether they have Gemini or Piscean placement in their chart. Um, but they're also, they also like to please people, okay? So they're a bit of a people pleaser, a caregiver. They're quite compassionate here as well. Um, I will leave it at that.